Alright athletes, welcome to your 15 minute stretch routine. I'm Marcus Rios, um, professional football athlete and trainer and today I'm going to go over with you guys my 15 minute stretch routine that I do after each and every physical activity. Whether it's football, you know, track, this is good for any sports. Um, after weight training, practice, anything physical, you want to do this directly after for recovery. Now if you would like to go longer, feel free to do so. Sometimes I do 30 minutes, sometimes I do 45 minutes. So this is 15 minutes enough for you to get what you need in if you're in a hurry or in a tight schedule or anything like that. Now, keep in mind you want to be consistent with this stretching every single day. That's the only reason, that's the only way you're going to see the benefits of this. So make sure you're stretching every day along with drinking a gallon of water and you'll see the benefits. Um, if you have any more questions or concerns, feel free to comment below. Until then, let's get started. Okay, so the first stretch we're gonna go into is our standing hamstring stretch. So we're gonna go ahead, reach down. We're gonna hold this pose for one minute. Remember, you make sure you wanna make sure your legs are locked out and you're nice and relaxed, your upper body. If your hands can touch the ground, feel free to do so. If they can't, feel free to hold out the elbows. And stay relaxed and hold this position for one minute. And remember to breathe throughout these exercises. It's important to breathe, so don't hold your breath. Just stay nice and relaxed the entire time. If you have to pause or break in between these, feel free to do so. About 10 more seconds. All right, go ahead and come up. Now we're gonna go into this white right quad. So standing quad stretch. Go ahead and bring it up. And pull that back of the heel to your glutes. You want this opposite leg nice and locked out. You want your upper body nice and relaxed. And we're holding each pose for one minute. This is how we get a really good deep stretch. The most important thing to do in between these stretches is to relax. You don't want to be tense. You don't want to be stressed. This is a time for your body to loosen up and recover. About 10 more seconds here. Then we'll move on to the opposite leg. So the left quad. All right, go ahead and release and switch. Now we're working this left quad, same thing. Make sure this opposite leg is locked out. Pull this knee. Pull that heel all the way to your glutes. And make sure to breathe during these exercises. You don't want to hold your breath. Your muscles can't relax that right way. So make sure you breathe nice and slowly throughout each and every rep. These are great for competition. These are gonna help you stay healthy Keep your speed, maintain your speed, eliminate tightness, increase range of motion, everything that you need to be, in a, to be a successful athlete each and every day. Good. Now we're gonna move into the open tree pose. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this right foot, grab the foot, we want this hip to just fall out and open. Now we don't want to force it to the ground. Just let gravity do its work. We want to maintain this position for the whole minute. So just let that knee fall towards the ground naturally. Don't force it. Make sure you're upright, pushing your hips slightly through. And remember, if you're experiencing any pain for any stretch, I advise you to stop. There's a difference between pain and discomfort. Discomfort is fine. If you feel any sharp pain, stop immediately.
good. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the left foot. Wanna be upright, nice and tall, balanced. Remember to breathe. Most of these poses can also help you work your balance as well. So we're getting not only stretching, but we're also working our balance and our single leg strength as well. All throughout the joints and muscles throughout our lower body. Good. Now we're gonna go ahead, make our way to the floor. Now we're gonna do, start off with our seated hamstring stretch. If you can reach the toes, touch the toes, and we want to lean forward. So it's not about how far you can get down. You want to stay upright and lean forward as much as you can. Your hands can be here. Feel free to grab here. Or if you have to, feel free to just go like this. Holding each pose for one minute. Good. Now we're going to open it up. Turn facing forward. We're going to go right down the center. to relax just go as far as you can stretching is not about competition so go at your own pace and go at your own depth so if you can reach way out there feel free to do so Now we're gonna go over to this right side. So we're gonna reach over, get this right hamstring stretch seated. Remember, we wanna hold each pose for one minute. Remember to breathe, relax, and focus throughout each and every pose. So we're all about recovery. The workout's over. The stress is over. The str no more straining. This is all to heal and get better. So just relax and take your time. All right, now we're gonna come up. Go ahead and switch over to the left leg. Same thing, other side. Holding this for one minute. And this is a good routine that you can do before bed. 15 minutes, this is also not only gonna help you feel better, but it's also gonna help you sleep better. So it's a little light workout, you know, before you go to bed, that's gonna Get your body in that relaxed mode, in that recovery mode that's going to help you promote, you know, better sleep. And also, you'll wake up feeling a lot better. So if you train a lot, this is a good routine that you can use, you know, two to three times a day. Alright, now we're going to go into butterfly. Go ahead and bring these feet together. We're just gonna let gravity do its work. 
Sit here, nice and relaxed, nice and tall, and hold this position for one minute. Yeah, I do these stretches every day before I go to sleep. I sleep better, and not only do I sleep better, but I feel a whole lot better in the morning, and I'm ready to attack my workouts. Especially on the days where I practice two, three times a day, you need to make sure you're stretching every single day. That's the thing about stretching, you're only gonna get the most out of it, being consistent. So we have to be consistent and stretch every single day. Otherwise, it won't do no benefit. So once, twice a week, that's not enough. You should be doing this every single day, at least 15 minutes for the same pace of this video. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do our pretzel stretch. So this right foot come to the ankle. Boom, now we're gonna hold this for one minute. Feel free to rock back and forth if you like. I kinda like doing this sometime. Really increase that range of motion. Simple, easy stretches that can get the job done. 15 minutes worth. Like I said, if you want to go above and beyond and do 30 minutes, that's fine. Sometimes I do 15, sometimes I do 30, sometimes I do 45. Depends how my schedule is and all that. But as an athlete, you should be able to do at least 15 minutes every single day. All right, go ahead and switch. So same thing, opposite side. Bring that right ankle, bring that left ankle to that right knee and hold this position. So when you're stretching, it shouldn't be all about feeling pain. You know, you'll know when you're getting the deep stretch, but you shouldn't be feeling any pain and we're not stretching for pain. So if you feel any pain experiencing during these, stretch, during, during these stretches, I suggest you to stop. So yeah, we're stretching simply for recovery, range of motion. So it shouldn't be painful. again since we're all athletes and we run a lot go ahead and lay back grab right under that right knee and go ahead and pull all the way into your chest hold this for one minute and remember to keep your head keep your chin to your chest keep that back flat to the floor and relax also have this opposite leg nice and locked out, locked out. The calf should be touching the floor. If it's not, then that's simply a flexibility issue. And the more you work these drills, the more easier and flexible and more range of motion you will get. So if you're not able to have this opposite leg nice and locked out, all it takes is repetition day by day and you'll get to this point. You want to really compress this right leg into that chest. Go ahead and switch. Keep that opposite leg nice and locked out. Go ahead and relax this foot. Twenty more seconds and we'll move into our last stretch for this exercise. Okay, go ahead and release. Now for our last exercise, we'll go ahead and get that low back in our cobra stance. So go ahead, right here. Push up in that push up position. And we're gonna hold this for one minute. 
Your thighs can be on the ground, the top of your feet should still be on the ground. And simply let gravity does its work. Make sure you relax your shoulders. Keep your head nice and neutral and relax. Good job today, guys. 20 more seconds and this completes our nightly routine. So it probably went by fast. Like I said, 15 minutes is just enough. That's all you need. Um, if, you're, if you have a tight schedule, 15 minutes is all you need to get better. So remember, we gotta be consistent though. So make sure you complete these exercises every single day. All right, athletes, so there you have it. There is my lower body 15 minute stretch routine. This is just enough to get the job done and have you feeling fresh and prepared to dominate and attack each and every workout. Now keep in mind, in order for this to work, in order for your body to feel better, you need to do this consistently on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you know, I honestly suggest you doing two 15-minute sessions daily. Anytime after you work out, honestly, you should be doing these stretch routines. So anytime you do weight training, field training, anything physical, you need to be doing these stretches for 15 minutes. That way your body can heal and repair properly. Along with this, make sure you're drinking at least a gallon of water a day. That's very important for your muscles. So the only way we can repair, we gotta rehydrate those muscles. So make sure you're drinking a gallon of water a day. Once again, I'm Marcus Rios. If you want a whole lot more recovery tips, visit undisputedsports.co. I have a whole list of recovery exercises that you can do to perform at the next level so once again guys thanks for watching this and remember we got to do this consistently every day on a day-to-day -day basis if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be updated on when i post a new workout weekly so there you have it guys marcus reels again thank you for watching and as always let's dominate the day